But even though I've been doing this work for 31 years, I know very little about it. Whatever I could say would be largely a matter of conjecture. I can make no claims whatsoever to great knowledge. I, too, am only groping. But then, we all learn only by experience. We come to have faith or understanding by taking one step at a time. We all have to have our experiences and arrive at conclusions by weighing the evidence with something that responds from deep within our inner selves. I am certain that all human beings have much greater powers than they are ever conscious of. If they would only be willing to pay the price of detachment from self-interest that it takes to develop those abilities. What I want to give is a better understanding of the great physician, that one who was able to heal by the touch of his hand. I want most of all to awaken in people the consciousness of divine healing that he had so completely developed. Let me give you an illustration of how healing lies in a person's consciousness. If an individual has any form of disorder called malaria, and he has quinine consciousness, so to speak, all the prayers in the world will not help that man, for he has been taught, and he has had demonstrated to him, to his own perfect satisfaction, that quinine will relieve that condition. He doesn't know about prayer. Some years ago, it was discovered that the juice of a plant, which grows in our gardens all over the country, was good for a certain condition in the physical body for what is known as low blood pressure, disturbed circulation, or a slowed pulse. What is this to do with mind and mental healing? Just this, all force is one force. Is that plan a representation of God's love to his people or not? Answer it yourself. It is a part of that one force not only as a beautiful flower, known as foxglove or digitalis, but also as something which contains an element that can awaken a healing consciousness within the human body. Some of you who have studied along the lines of mental healing will say, if I raise my consciousness, I could be rid of all those things. Why should medicine be necessary? Let me read a quotation which I think answers this question. This is the master talking to the father of a sick child. How long ago is it since this came upon him? father's answer was of a child and at times it hath cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him but if thou canst do anything have compassion on us and help us Jesus said to him if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth straight away the father of the child cried out and said with tears Lord I believe help thou mine unbelief in other words all things are possible to him who believes. Such material things as the juice of plants merely serves to help our unbelief. You may wonder what all this had to do with our work, with what we have been attempting to do here in the hospital. Does faith, does mental attitude have anything to do with the treatments we have here? As you go about this hospital, you will find equipment to give practically any kind of treatment. All the treatments we are prepared to give here have been suggested from time to time to individuals who apply in their lives and to enable them to gain that consciousness which produces healing from within. Man has been able to gather from nature's storehouse many things in the form of drugs, mechanical appliances, and the various elements of nature itself that may aid in healing various disease conditions. Does that lessen at all the ability of the individual to gain a consciousness of the divine force from within? Or is it proof of all healing being one? That's the great question we have to answer. I am convinced from what the readings have repeated again and again that all healing comes from the divine within. Then what does the mind have to do with healing? It has to be awakened either by something without or by something within to that consciousness where the divine may heal. There has to be brought to the individual a consciousness that the healing is from within, not from without. Just as we have said about the kingdom of heaven, it isn't that we go out to find who will come in and tell us, but it is rather within our own selves. If an individual is able to be awakened sufficiently from within, all the medicines, all the appliances, and all the treatments in the world would mean nothing. The great physician himself is ever ready and willing that we should have that which is our true heritage, if we will but open ourselves to that heritage. But 
If we are so earthy minded, if we have so turned our mental vision or so trained our subconscious self that we are unable to get beyond those barriers, it is necessary that we be awakened by one of those things in God's own storehouse, which He has allowed men to gather and put in such shape as to assist in awakening what is necessary for the healing to come. In all my experience, I have seen only one case of instantaneous relief. About 12 years ago, a young man came to my office one day and asked for a reading for his wife, who was in Wisconsin. I asked him to have his wife come to listen to the information. He said, all right, if you think that's best, but she can't hear it. She can't hear anything. That's what's the matter with her. Well, he sent for his wife, and a few days later, they both came in the studio. As soon as I talked with her, I could see that she was able to read one's lips. She said it had been three years since she had been able to hear. Well, we took the reading, and the information came through that it was a case of suppression through the treatment accorded her by her husband, who made fun of her psychic abilities. When I became conscious again, the husband, very much shaken up, said to me, Old man, God alone knows how true the things are you have said. I don't know how you knew them. He hadn't noticed his wife, and when we looked around at her, we saw she was almost hysterical, her hands going up and down, her eyes staring wide open. I heard every word that man said, and I can hear yet, she exclaimed. This was the story they told me afterwards. He had met her on a Sunday afternoon, and they had married on Wednesday. He didn't know anything about her family, and she didn't know anything about his family. They decided to spend one day together, and then go to meet the two families. That afternoon, when they were in their local hotel room, all of a sudden she said, Listen, Uncle John is talking. He answered, What in the name of God are you talking about? Well, he really thought she was crazy to talk that way. I didn't know what sort of person I had married, he explained to me. I didn't know anything about spiritualism or any such stuff. Well, after that, she said nothing more. We went out to dinner, and when we came back, we talked a little while, and just before I turned out the light, she said, Listen, Uncle John is talking again. I gave her a genteel good cussin', and the next morning she couldn't hear anything I had to say, and hasn't heard from that day to this. I haven't been able to stay away from her, neither have I been able to stay with her. But what you have told me had made me realize that I haven't understood what this is all about. I understand from what you said that she has possessed some ability not given to ordinary human beings to understand. I couldn't make fun of her or abuse her anymore, now that I know what it really is. Well, that woman has been able to hear ever since. If we are willing to pay the price in effort and meditation and prayer, our mind is able to build within ourself whatever is necessary to bring about healing and an understanding of our relationship to our God. Now, if our God is fame, fortune, or pleasure, we can't expect that God to heal. Many people are of the opinion that we can buy almost anything we want, but health is one thing that's mighty hard to buy. Unless we can gain a consciousness of the divine within us, very little help can come to us. Some years ago, I had this experience, which came very close to home. An accident happened, and my wife and I didn't feel it was possible for any aid to come to our little son, who was suffering because of an explosion of flashlight powder in his face. The physician told us nothing could possibly be done. Yet when he told us that the child would never see anymore, and that his eyes must be taken out if he could even live, the child himself said no, because my daddy, when he's asleep, is the best doctor in the world, and daddy will tell you what to do, and you will do it, won't you? The physician promised that he would follow what the reading said. In fact, he did so, and the boy was healed. Did I do anything? Did the doctor do anything? You ask any physician who saw this happen, and they will all tell you just as they did me. It was just a miracle. Mind is the builder, the healer. That is mind at work, not passive, but active with the forces God has given man to make himself one with the law of God, which makes him free. All animal totems, elementals of fire, air, water, and earth, all divine beings of light, love, and ascension, named and unnamed, 
to activate the cells within my being who are your counterparts with the unified power of the one. I decree my highest good always operating in this now. I decree grace and mercy always operating in this now. I invoke, decree, and dream awake the full truth and reality of ascension in this now. I invoke and dream awake with every breath that I breathe the violet fire transmuting my whole being. I invoke and dream awake the full current of ascension in every cell of my being. I am ascended. I invoke and dream awake expanded God consciousness fully realized in me as unlimited abundance fulfilling my every need and desire. I invoke and dream awake the ending of procrastination, tiredness, blockages, obstacles, and unhealthy belief systems. I decree immediate abundance in my life. I invoke and dream awake my liberation from all karmic debt. I am infinite opulence. I invoke and dream awake my personal empowerment in every instant that anyone is impacted by my being and creations. I invoke and dream awake the infinite empowerment of my sexual, spiritual, mental mental, emotional, physical, and financial relationship with life. I invoke and dream awake sacred sexuality, erotic innocence, and always express the sacredness of sexual force for pleasure, creativity, and healing. I invoke and dream awake world universal healing from all sexual woundedness and shame. I invoke and dream awake worldwide release of all manipulating forces and beings who would control humanity past, present, and future. I invoke the angels and ascended masters to realign and heal all misuse used energy to include the full restructuring of our DNA. I invoke and dream awake the transmutation of all negative and judgmental projections. I invoke and dream awake my constant ability to be centered and balanced in my psychic perceptions and empathic nature. All overwhelming psychic energies are released by me automatically, easily, effortlessly. I am empowered by everything. I invoke and dream awake my lucid dreaming each night I sleep and total remembering when I awake. I invoke and dream awake my infinite harmony with God, Goddess I am. I invoke and dream awake the full expression of my miraculous healing power. My life is a continuous stream of miracles. I invoke and dream awake my infinite ability and willingness to receive all life's blessings. I invoke and dream awake a constant attitude of gratitude for my whole life. All my accomplishments and blessings including the same for the universe at large. I invoke and dream awake the full blessings of God, Goddess, the Ascended Masters, Angels, Guides, and Beings of Light to bless this earth. I invoke and dream awake all my decrees, invocations, and prayers I have released to the universe and open myself to God's response, support, and love in my highest good. I invoke and dream awake the release of all past, present, and future lifetimes of decrees and vows which would bind me to limitation, lack, density, and anything not of ascension in this now. I invoke and dream awake the full reclaiming of my eternal self as powerful, loving, and fully aligned and abundant God consciousness. I invoke and dream awake the total dissolving of all manipulating forces which would bind this earth plane in fear. I invoke and dream awake the influence of the ascended master realm and angels to intercede and raise the vibrations higher to bring darkness into the light, raising the frequency of love and God consciousness on planet earth in this now. I invoke and dream awake the ascension of planet earth in this now.